Welcome to the sauce, Regina Carter. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. It's my great honor really to talk to you today and to meet you. And I'm really excited to learn about the virtual summer camp that is coming up in July. Uh, yes, the Jerry Allen uh, Jazz Camp. It's been in existence. This is my, I believe this is my third year. No, fourth year, actually. Um, and Jerry Allen, great pianist, composer, educator, mom, uh, that, the late Jerry Allen, who was also from Detroit, um, started the camp and she was there for about three years as well. And it's usually held one week at New Jersey Performing Arts Center in conjunction with Rutgers. And um, so some of the, the students come from all over the world. We've had people from, um, from uh, Israel, we've had students from um, Australia. And so they have, they can stay there on campus for the week. And then there are some of the students that live close enough can, can come back and forth. Uh, it's a week long camp uh, for young women or those identifying as non-binary from the ages of 14 to 26. All instruments are welcome. And it's just an amazing week. Um, they get theory, um, they have ensembles, um, technique classes. We bring in different guest artists to talk about all aspects of music and the music business, um, women to women talks. When we're in person, which God willing will be live next year, uh, the first year we went to uh, Birdland to hear uh, Freddie Cole. Oh, how amazing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they got to meet him. So it was just, it's, it's just an amazing week. And to see all these young people come together as strangers in the beginning and see them really blossom and form friendships. And the last day after the concert, see them exchanging emails, phone numbers, taking pictures. And that's the beautiful thing. When we see that, we know we, 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 we accomplished what we set out to do. Yeah, no question, because that's life defining, really, isn't it? It is. It yes, is. to have that door open up. Yeah, and to have to know that some of these, some of them, these will be lifelong friendships. And uh, even some of the faculty, you know, we always tell them some of the people on faculty, I've been friends with, I grew up with them. Um, and then we have these relationships with the students. So they know that if they have something they need to talk about or run into something or need advice, they always have uh, a sisterhood. Mm, that's amazing. Yeah, that's really beautiful. Now, um, you were saying, you know, about Jerry Allen, that was a low blow when we lost her, wasn't oh my it? God. It was just, yeah, who I no one was expecting that. And just, you know, um, I felt like her music, her work, people were just kind of starting to come around to, 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 to checking her out or to knowing who she was and what all she had accomplished. Um, and yeah, and then she was just taken. Yeah, I remember when she started working with Motema Music um, and it was such an exciting time for her, you know, to have, to have so many people really discover her. And I didn't expect her to not survive this. Yeah, yeah, I, I did. No one did. No one did, you know. Um, yeah. But such an incredible and powerful individual. Uh, very quiet, <laughs> but a lot going on there. <laughs> oh, for sure. For sure. I remember going to, I think it was Harlem stage when um, Terry Lynn Carrington released her Mosaic album, the first one, mm -hmm. and, and they were playing together. And um, she played on that album and it was just a great time for music. Yeah. Wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. It definitely. I met Jerry. I didn't even, I didn't know Jerry growing up in Detroit. Um, she was a, a couple of years ahead of me, but so there's a whole crew, my, the bass uh, teacher for the camp. Now they, they came up together. Um, but when I, when I finished school, college, uh, I went to Germany and I, I went to for a vacation and ended up staying two years. But um, I think maybe my first or second month there, uh, a friend invited me to a concert. They had an extra ticket to hear her, to see her at the Alabama holiday in, Mus mm. in Munich. And so I went up to her and introduced myself and said, listen, this, you know, it's my name. I'm from Detroit. And I studied with Marcus Belgrade. 
great trumpeter from Detroit who played with everyone from Diz to Ray Charles. And he, he, he would just, we, so many musicians in Detroit, young musicians came up through Marcus. He would have a summer camp at his house. And so Jerry went through there. Uh, so many, any, almost any musician, young musician uh, coming out of Detroit, they all, Rodney Whitaker, um, Marion Hayden, just everybody went through Marcus's camp. So mm. that was our connection right there. 